Ubisoft just released a completely new quest line that ranks amongst the best in the game yet. It's certainly the best Lost Tales of Greece mission in my opinion. We got a new item that you totally want to buy before it's gone. We know when the February content video will be released and there's more to discuss. So let's get into it, shall we? If you enjoy that, then a like of course would be super appreciated and let's go. Let's start with that free new quest line that you find over here in the map in the Corinthia region. You do have to advance the main story to be able to do the quest, but I'm not sure what the episode and level requirement is, like Ubisoft did not disclose that. But yeah, just look around in this region. If you see the blue icon, then you will be able to do the quest. And to start it, you first have to save one guy out of the altar of the Cyclops. And when you do that, the story of two brothers and their dead father begins. But there's way more to this quest than meets the eye at first. We had a great time playing through the mission during my weekly livestream where of course take a look at all the new content and changes that Ubisoft makes every Tuesday. So yes this week including the new Lost the Tales of Greece mission and many times you have to choose how to approach things and those will totally have consequences. Let's say that you cannot have it all. Wink wink. Now but these brothers have a ton of character and you learn a lot about them throughout this hour long story. It seemed actually longer than the other Lost Tales of Greece missions and it does show you once again that the ending of episode 2 of the Legacy of the First Blade just doesn't fit with the rest of your Mysterious adventures including this quest. So yes, totally play it, there's no epic reward at the end but you of course do get a trophy or achievement and it's the final trophy that actually has some info in the additional feat section. And now we have 5 trophies in this list that are not available at this time. But you would think that they should appear soon, right? I will of course keep an eye out and share new info when we know more. Just like about the February content update that still hasn't gone live yet. Ubisoft of course always does a blog post and video detailing what is coming to the game in the coming months. And they normally do that the first days of that month. And now it's already mid-February. Well luckily we don't have to wait that long anymore because the official Twitter account Account from Assassin's Creed confirmed that they will release the video tomorrow. So yes, then we can learn more about New Game Plus, likely a new item pack coming to the game and more content that should be coming this month. I was surprised by the amount of people that asked when the next episode of the Legacy of the First Blade would drop, so episode 3, but Ubisoft already confirmed that that would be in March, while 6 weeks after the previous episode, what they first communicated in the post-launch content trailer would actually be February 26th. So I now expect it one week later on March 5th, but again we have no info yet and we will not hear anything about it in the February content video. So yes, that one will be about the new game plus mode and other things coming in February. I will of course make a big video telling you everything you need to know when that update drops, so totally keep an eye out on the channel tomorrow for everything you need to know about the content coming to the game this month. Now all the things that Ubisoft actually added today because we got a really cool item that I totally think you should buy because they are really one of my favorite bracers in the game. With the awesome claws like going over your hands. The stats don't really matter because you don't have the full set likely. But still I think that AD Oricalcum is totally worth it for the Bracers of the Brave. So you got one week to buy them of course at the Eagles of the Olympian store. But the new bounties that just appeared will already give you all the Oricalcum that you need. So of course pick up these new bounties with the Eagles icon from the bounty board. We have to defeat a pirate ship this week that has a pretty cool Medusa design that you of course get after defeating it. So let's take that one on. Select the quest and then you find it actually near the Medusa's lair in the top right corner of the map. Fast travel nearby and then approach the ship. I immediately went for the ship this time, kiting the two pirate ships that protect it away so they could not really hit me. So yes, just unleash your arrows or javelins and you should be fine. I like to board the ship but you can of course also cleave it if you want. And then the awesome ship design with the head of Medusa in the middle is yours. I like the colors there as well. Okay, I prefer other ship designs but I still think it's a pretty unique one. So totally worth the get. You got one week to defeat the ship. And we can actually already see other upcoming live events in the event section on the PlayStation 4. So next week we get a new mercenary called Okalea, the Lotus Eater, and I hope I pronounced the name right, who should drop a specific weapon according to the event description. Let's hope she does not die from one critical assassinate, although she very likely will. We also got a new ship the week after that, the Delos, with a sort of mermaid or fish, not really sure. 
on the design there of course correct me if i'm wrong in the comments down below and yeah you will get that design of course by taking this ship out and of course you also get the 40 ori calcum then apart from the epic events we of course got a new weekly quest as well where we have to kill specific athenian enemies this week we gotta kill 10 marksmen the enemies with the shroud five strata goy enemies with the big shields and also free Athenian leaders. So go to Athenian forts, that's of course the place to go. Maybe one with a leader inside, that is really one plus one. Or otherwise go to a leader house in a region taken over by Athens, that should work as well. So easy as that, and then you get enough to get the very cool brazers. Or maybe you already had some Oricalcum laying around. I already got them, so I will be spending the Oricalcum of course on the Olympian gifts. To get to the freaking Hades Lieutenant. Ubisoft maybe add a trade feature because Sapa here has the Hades Lieutenant but doesn't want it. So can I have it then? No, I can only get it via Zargon. Okay, that's sad. Yes, we will continue our search in a second here. But first I wanted to give you an update on Assassin's Creed 3 Remastered. That will of course be coming as part of the Odyssey Season Pass. So if you got the Odyssey Season Pass, then you will on March 29th get Assassin's Creed 3 Remastered, all the solo DLC and also Assassin's Creed Liberation. But will also be a standalone release on the PlayStation 4, Xbox One, PC and Switch. Well actually the Switch version was not announced yet, but it now appeared on the official Ubisoft Club website. So I already speculated when the trailer was revealed that there would likely be a Nintendo Direct to announce this Switch version. And well Nintendo just announced a new Nintendo Direct that will focus on new Nintendo Switch games, including likely Switch footage of the Assassin's Creed 3 Remastered release. So tomorrow we got the February content update and also Assassin's Creed 3 Remastered Switch footage. So good times ahead for sure. Sure, I will keep you up to date here on the channel. And we of course also have the weekly selection and what is interesting is that they are selling the Minotaur Helm. So you normally get this from a quest that also leads you to one of the cultists. But now you can get the helm like in the shop with hunter damage, headshot damage and damage on Athenian soldiers. So not really that good but if you don't have it in your official customization system yet and just want to rock this pretty cool helmet let's just equip it right uh, immediately. Then uh, you can just buy it now for some Ori Kalkum, but I should do the quest as well. It's, uh, it's actually pretty fun. You will be able to find it over here on the map. So now I'm wearing the Minotaur Helm. This guy is already dead. I killed him in my stream. I'm sorry about that. Let's hope that this guy is going to sit down. I will kill him if I don't get the Hades Lieutenant from this run. Um, you can also get the Conqueror's Crown, Warrior Damage, Range Resistance, Crit Chance while full health. So pretty nice if uh, yeah, if you want a more tanky build, Crit Chance while full health is of course great. And then we also have the Tracker's Hood and that is for Assassins who like to have the poison damage as well. I don't think that you really want the intoxicated duration because yeah, with daggers you will be hitting most of the time. So even if the enemy is like not poisoned anymore, you will apply the effect really really soon. Okay, without further ado. Let's try and get the freaking Hades Lieutenant, shall we? Let's go. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Heavy Corinthian helmet. Assassin damage, damage with daggers, and crouching one move. I don't need that. I don't need that. I wanna, I wanna, yeah, buy another one. Why not? Why not? We're here. Got the Minotaur helm. Another epic, okay. Greek reflex bow, assassin, hunter damage, and poison damage. So this means that tomorrow, with the February content update video, we will continue our search for the freaking Hades Lieutenant. I still need to do my uh, my daily, actually. Still need to do my my weekly. I mean, I've been to some uh, Athenian soldier uh, camps, but haven't really cleared that yet. So I got enough Ori Kalkum to, uh, yeah, open maybe two tomorrow as well. We will see. Um, thanks a lot for watching, of course. Subscribe for everything as a Creed Odyssey. If you haven't already, like the video to support the channel. Check out my recent video on the fact that we might get more upgradable weapons. Because in the Ancient Forge, there's more going on than you might think. Again, I will speak to you tomorrow with the February content update video. Really, really excited about that. And uh, goodbye. Ah, damn it. Ah, damn it. Yes, I forgot to kill the guy. Oh, no, he's gone. Oh, oh, there's a new guy. There's the new guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. I mean, otherwise everyone in the comments is like, dude, what the heck? <laughs> so, yeah. Now I want to end the video again. Check out my recent videos. Subscribe if you haven't already. Like the video and goodbye.